Welcome back to the Forensics Detailing Channel. Please subscribe. Freezing cold, black car covered in road film. Two sexy bottles here that you may recognise. I was up at UK Detailing and they, they had wall-to-wall -wall blue bottles with all this sexy stuff. And I recognised it and they've let me pinch these products and review them on the channel. So pretty cool. I'm excited to see how I get on with them, see how they work. Now there's, first of all, let's, what are they? Let's take a step back. Get carried away. The brand is called Lab Cosmetica. It's an Italian brand. It's owned by the detailing manufacturer giant in Italy called Mafra. Now, the products all have a funny name on the front, like hashtag Primus here, which is a pre-wash, you know, a snow foam pre-wash, and Purifica, hashtag Purifica. I've got to, I've got to resist the <laughs> saying everything with a little Italian accent. Purifica. Um, all the products smell like Giorgio Armani. They uh, said with a joke, but they have proper like aftershave scents in them, and they actually smell really nice. This one's not aftershave; it's kind of like coconutty, but it smells lovely. Um, what are they, guys? What are they? Now we've talked on the channel loads about pH neutral. You know, and the the emergence of pH neutral within the car cleaning sector. pH neutral was very popular because back in the day the protection of choice for many years in your car was a paste wax, you know, wax, organic wax and oil, you know, you put on the car to shine. Paste waxes had very low detergent resistance and a pH neutral product would have degrade a wax less than a strong alkaline, which, you know, can be a very strong degreaser and break down the oils in the wax and open the wax up to make it more less impervious to water so it'll break down that's how things clean you know when there's oil in, and grease involved so alkalines can strip organic waxes nowadays i think protection products have moved along to products which have higher detergent resistance and that's that higher detergent resistance is not a myth it's, it's just, just it is these materials ceramic coatings especially are not broken down with detergents they're not emulsified by detergents and sealants as well are not emulsified. Oily waxes are emulsified by detergents. Even modern waxes, you know, that don't use a lot of oil are a lot more detergent resistant nowadays. So for me personally, I'm looking really, and I've been consistent with this on the channel since day one, I'm looking for products which are strong degreasers and strong cleaners while still being safe and suitable, you know, so I don't clean my car with fairy liquid, you know, which is a strong degreaser. I want a, I want a classy product from a detailing brand. So let's start with Primus. Primus is a pre-wash that you can use in a snow foam lancer around one to 10 for a heavily soiled vehicle or one to 15 for a mildly soiled vehicle. I'm heavily soiled, I'm gonna go in at one to 10, I'm going in. That's a good concentration ratio, guys. One to 10 is nice. That's not very powerful. That's a low PIR. That's below 1% roughly for me, probably about 0.7%. I tend to find products are not effective at sub 1% PIRs. I'm interested to see if this can be. You can also whack it in a pump sprayer at around one to three, which is ridiculously strong. You know, you'll churn your way through this if you use it at one to three, up to one to 10 for cleaning of wheels. So you can go in, use this at high concentration as a wheel cleaner. You can also use it in a pump dispenser at one to 20 for the lower sections of your car. You know, in a pump dispenser, one to 20, that equals around a 5% PIR. So you can see on heavy road film as a pump dispenser, they're recommending a 5% PIR versus a sub 1% PIR in the snow foam lance. So there you go. For me, uh, I want it to be effective in a snow foam lance. So very interested. This is all my little thought processes, see what's going on. So I want it, to, I don't want to use it in a pump spray. I want to put it in a snow foam lance ideally. Okay, some other things that are worth mentioning. They have all sorts of certifications, this company, and only the big boys tend to, to have those certifications. So it's independently VDA verified. So some test body in Germany tests the products to hell and back. And, you know, either says, I assume, well, this is me paraphrasing, they're good or they're bad, or they pass the test, fail the test, which is great. They also have lots of ISO and OHSAS, which I've not heard of. Um, they're registered, so they're compliant with ISO um, guidelines, which is a pain in the ass for them to have to comply with, because I know a little bit about 
um, ISO compliance. Okay, right, that is Primus. Primus costs £13 for a litre. It costs £48 for five litres. Let's talk about price. £13 for a litre is fantastic. Valet Pro Advanced Neutral costs 13 quid. Auto Finesse uh, Avalanche costs 13 quid. You know, good premium brands, but a good fair price. However, 48 quid for five litres, the Valet Pro equivalent costs 29 quid, and the Auto Finesse equivalent costs about, I think, 28 to 30 quid. So all around about that 30 quid mark. So a short answer to this is the bulk price of this product is not, not as competitive or on the market as the one litre price. Um, so that's a factor if you want to buy bulk chemicals. That's the basic stuff before we go, go on and use it. Now we go on to Purifica. And, that, and this product as well, it's a strong, well, I can say it's a strong, it's an alkaline based cleaner, isn't it? So it's going to go in and degrease heavily the surface. One thing I've mentioned very important, I should have mentioned at the start, is I think Labs Cosmetica have milder pH neutral shampoos and stuff like that. The Primus and the Purifica are not that. They're strong alkaline and the Purifica is an acid. Okay, so you're hitting it with an alkaline to degrease and hitting with an acid. Why do you hit it with an acid acidic materials? Well, solid matter um, is not affected by degreases, you know, because it's not got oil in it, so it's solid matter. What is solid matter? Fallout that's embedded into the paintwork, um, minerals and lime scale deposits, which are a very common contamination that you typically can't see unless they're in a droplet that's dried on the car. But even if you don't have those water spot droplets, your car is covered in mineral deposits. It really is. Well, I suppose you can minimise it if you're using filter water and all that sort of stuff, but it still gets rained on and it still gets acid rain, contamination, dust and mineral deposits built up on it. So an acid will attack solid matter by shrinking it. That's all it does. It's a, acids have a corrosive property, which will make people panic. <laughs> Don't panic. You know, obviously it's, it's watered down and they're using suitable acids to attack contamination, shrink it, and then it will come off the paintwork. So it's supposed to also rejuvenate your paintwork. So you could look at this combination as a as a decontamination system that you may or may not use every single wash. In fact, they recommend you don't use Purifica, Purifica every time you wash a car. They suggest one in every three for a coated car. Now, let's move on to some other things. Concentration, it says that um, you should use this at 1 to 60 dilution, okay? 1 to 60. So if that hasn't just sort of raised your eyebrows, well, I use shampoos typically that I use at 1 to 1,000 or one even up to 1 to 2,000 dilution. So the first thing is you have to use a lot of this. 1 to 60, how much shampoo, how much product is that to water? Well, if you take one to 60, so if you say 6,000 milliliters, which is six liters, you'll have to use 100 mil. Now, I typically run at least 12 mil in one of these giant detailing buckets, which means I would have to use 200 mil or drop my water level right down. I don't have a full bottle of this. I probably only have about 200 mil. So you have to use between 100 mil and 200 mil, really, <laughs> depending on how much water you have in your bucket. That's a hell of a lot. Um, the price for this, it's £20 per litre, and it's, I think, about £60 for five litres. So let's, if we go at £20 per litre, 200 mil is £4. So if I'm using my normal buckets and the normal amount of water I use, this costs £4 per wash. I would have to drop it down. I would have to use less water forget about the safe wash, wash it first with something else maybe, you know, uh, just use use six litres and 100 mil because four pounds per wash is too expensive for me. And I'll also go through it in five washes, so it'll be gone. Um, so two pounds per wash, I can just about cope with. The next highest cost per wash I've ever seen is about a pound 10. And that was with Meguiar's Gold Class because it was very low concentration as well. Okay, because this is an acid, you have to probably get the concentration reasonably high for this to have an effect. Um, but 
you know, that's fair enough. But I just want to, when I talk about price, I just want to keep it about price. So it's very expensive product to use. You can mitigate that as well by saying you don't use it every time. You could have it there, use it on your own car a couple of times a year, and it'd be a nice little product. But quite simply, that's not cheap, is it? So let's crack on, get these mixed up, get them on my car down here. And if you think I was joking about when I said about the dirt, well, you can probably not see it on the camera, but it's really dirty. The camera never picks up the dirt that well, but well, you could probably see it's it's covered in it's covered in road film. So I've got all my water mixed out. I've got it in the snow foam lance ready to go. Um, I'm going to switch over to the potato can and get this car cleaned. Okay, the finger of truth moment. These are the areas I'm interested in. Yeah, it's just, there's still dirt there. Could have just been where. Yeah, it's okay. I mean, there was a lot of salty road film on this. It's a bit better. Yeah, that's what I want. That's what I want. It's like so. There's still dirt around here. Let's have a look around the back. It's good. That's not dirt. It's just shank number plate. I've got a spare one. It's good. job there. A bit dirty there. I can still see it. Yeah, that's okay. That's better. It's better. Given if that's better. There, yeah, that's what I'm looking for. That's this side's better. It's had long enough to dwell. It's had more than 10 minutes and it didn't dry. So let me just come in over here. Okay guys, I'm back in the garage now. Freezing cold, but kind of sweaty, which is weird. Well, you don't want to know about that. Uh, it's done a good job on my car. So I have cleaned my car and my paintwork feels really nice. I don't want to touch it too much as well because I'll put greasy finger marks all over it. Trust me, trust me. I know when I've got a clean car and when I haven't got a clean car, I did miss a couple of bits because I've got a camera in one hand, the universal YouTuber's excuse. I, I missed the massive bit as well. <laughs> I missed a couple of little tiny bits, which happens to me all the time, and you just go back over them, don't you, with the, the mitt, the little little bits where you swipe and you don't overlap. But I missed the massive section at the back. Jesus, should have got that. Whenever I get people, you know, trolling me or anything, I sometimes, or making silly comments, I sometimes put a link to the Specsavers free eye test in there. You know, it's just a bit of banter and jokes. And sometimes I get a laugh back from the trolls. <laughs> it is funny, but Jesus, if you're watching any of these trolls, you can put a link to the Specsavers free eye test URL in there and it will make me chuckle, but it will get filtered out. So don't do that. Um, okay, slash Primus, hashtag Primus and hashtag Purifica. First of all, let's talk about Primus, the pre-wash. Now, this, let's just keep it simple. This pre-wash used at one to 10 in a snow foam lance did not remove as much of the road film as I usually like to remove before I go in and do the contact wash. There was, in simple layman's terms, there was more dirt on the lower sections than I wanted. Okay, now, the flip side to that, or the, the positive, is that I haven't used a snow foam where I can use it at one to 10, really, to remove that level of winter road film and salts. So they do provide you instructions in there to go and put it in a pump sprayer where you can use it closer to a four to 5% PIR on the lower sections of your panel to remove GNATs. Gnats. I don't know. I, I'm gonna. Some of you're gonna laugh at me. I don't know what gnats is. I don't know if that means road films or bugs. Gnats. Gnats. It's bugs, isn't it? Gnats. <laughs> um, so you can increase the concentration of this and use it in a pump sprayer. Now I want to 
use it in a snow foam lance and I want it to strip more dirt off of the car. So a lot of you, if you're fans of this product, are gonna be screaming at the camera saying, well, John, you can just up the, up the concentration. Just go one to five in your snow foam lance. Yeah, 250 mil to 750 mil, one to four. That's one to three. That's where it starts getting. You tend to start getting punch out of these alkaline ones. That's roughly what I tend to use built hamber at, and all the way up to 50 50 for 4% PR. The problem is, as a, as a detailing channel, if I use the product at a concentration that is not recommended on the instructions and discuss results, the results are invalid and people will be screaming at me that I've used it without following the instructions. So, I was sort of thinking, this, has got, this is not going to be able to shift that dirt at 1 to 10 in the lance because the PIR is going to be too low. And it didn't. It did an okay job. Don't get me wrong. Some sections, it was just starting to break through. But there were the lower section on the driver's quarter was re still really dirty. And it had a proper soak. And it had a proper pressure wash as well. But when the film came off of that, I just wanted to leave that to dry to see how much film was there. And much more film than I'd normally want. So yeah, that it would have been great if it could have if it could have done it because I then I'd be shouting about that saying this has got insane cleaning power at zero point seven PIR, but it hasn't. It's just performed as I would expect a pre wash to perform at that lower concentration. Will I use it again in the pump sprayer at one to five? Uh, sorry, one to twenty. 1 to 20, 4 to 5% PIR. Yes, I will, but I will also go off piste, not on camera, and up the concentration to about 250 mil to 750 mil, which is closer to a 2% PIR in my snow foam lance, just because I want to see. I might leave it, I might let it dwell slightly less. I definitely won't let it dry at that increased concentration. I'll make sure I rinse it properly. I'll look for residue problems because I'm going off piste, but I like the product enough to, to give it another chance and go off piste, so I will do. Um, no rinseability issues, no residue issues. Did it reveal the true nature of the um, what's going on underneath with the protection products that are scattered around this car? I don't know because there was still dirt on the car. So I'm not seeing the true nature until I go in with the contact and break off the dirt, if you like. And that leads us on to the next product, Purifica. Okay, so first off, some practical problems. I tried to use six litres of water, as I said, so that I could only use 100 ml of product to get the cost of the wash down to two pounds. You take water, when I'm using a sponge, a noodle sponge, I'm taking all this water and product out the bucket each time, and about halfway through the car, I'm down to, um, the water level's dropping close to the grit garden, I haven't got enough product in there, or basically, you want more water in your bucket, and 10 to 12 litres is about right. So that means I can't work around the fact, if I'm gonna use this sensibly, that I have to use about 200 mil of product if my maths is right. That's an insane amount of product, or, okay, insane's a strong word, but it's a four pound cost per wash every time I use this. Now, as a guy at home, yes, you can use it a couple of times a year and you know work around that. As a professional, adding four pound, if you're doing this service you know, and you're using this because you wanna decontaminate, that's a significant cost addition you can argue that you could stock a ph neutral cheap shampoo and just wash with that and you could bolt this on as a service and say look you can pay an extra four quid or five quid because you've got to make some money on top of it you can't just have the product cost you know you can't just make the customer pay direct for that you have to you have to make a bit of profit don't you so you'd have to add a fiver and you could say like for an extra fiver we'll use an acidic decontamination shampoo to you know bring back the true nature of your protection so I'm criticizing the cost per wash of this product at the moment, which is what you have to do. Um, and I'm struggling to come up with a way um, that I can justify the cost of this for me personally. Um, and I'm sort of thinking in my head, could I not just wash my car with whatever shampoos I've got now, pure shampoos, and then treat the car with a water spot remover product which I have and stock you know I always have a water spot remover which is an acidic product and is it going to do a similar sort of thing probably is I mean it's quicker to use this because it's not an extra step but it's cheaper to use a dedicated water spot remover so um, now let's just talk about results uh, let's just talk about actually how the product feels it's quite it's quite a white opaqueness to it you see this kind of like chalky water over the car but 
It's not the foamiest or sudsiest or slickest shampoo I've ever used. I would imagine that's just the nature of the chemistry and they're probably their normal shampoo is more of a slick foamy thing. But it rinses off the car fine. You can wash your car with it fine. It's just a detergent. You know, it's not, it's foamy enough. It's fine. Um, yeah, and I haven't got any like white residue or any sort of soap stains or film on the car when it's finished. So it rinses off nice and gives you a clean panel. Now, one thing I was interested in was whether this Purifica could bring back my protection. I saw a video done by uh, Lab Cosmetica. I saw the video on their channel of a ceramic coated car and how to use the Primus product and spray it on, you know, a bit more concentrated um, and then use the Purifica. And in their demonstration, the ceramic coating was buzzing again. It was hurling the water off the car. Well, on my test panel, I've got 24 sealants and waxes and three coating-esque type problems, uh, pr products, car pro, car pro light, come on brain, get it, fire up, get going. <laughs> car pro light, tax systems moonlight and uh, art to shine, graphene, which is more of a resin with graphene in it, more of a polysiloxane resin, but it's a still a durable sealant that I was hoping um, treating the test panel with Primus, letting it dwell for 10 minutes, rinsing it off, washing it with the Purifica, letting it dwell for four minutes, rinsing it off, drying the panel with a towel and then buffing it dry with a clean cloth till it's a squeaky clean, squeaky dry panel, then testing the water. See if any of the hydrophobicity had come back on the test panel. It hadn't really. Um, only that those three ceramics after, it's about eight months now, I've published the video a while back on the results of this after six months. Tax Systems Moonlight, Car Pro Light, and ADS Graphene, the only three that are going. And this hasn't brought them back since the last time I kind of looked at it. Um, so they didn't suddenly start f hurling the water off again and looking like they were freshly applied. Maybe, I don't know. Um, I wasn't, to be honest, I wasn't expecting them to. Um, so overall, Purifica, it's an interesting product, but it might be, it might well be out of budget for me as a guy at home with not a lot of money who likes very cheap products. <laughs> so maybe it was never going to be, it was never going to be something that was going to take over my arsenal. Am I glad that I've got to try it? Has it given me very good results if I take away my review head and just think, do I have a spankingly clean car now that I'm pretty proud of and the answer is absolutely and am I interested to try more Labco Lab Cosmetica products absolutely the main thing for me is that it's a different set of chemistry from a different region a different part of the world in Italy where they're probably their chemistry approach will be different the raw materials they're sourcing will be different the formulations will have a different flavor um, the way they solve problems will be different to how the, the flavour in the UK, and I've experienced the UK products so much now that I am starting to think about looking at reviewing kind of Italian product, products, Polish products, like some of you tell me, French products, you know, Australian products, just to see and experience those different geographies. And I will grab another product from Labco Cosmetica that I think might be interesting, and that is a exhaust decarbonizer or cleaner um, that's called Kronos that I'm interested to try. So, yeah, it's been fun, and I'm looking forward to trying more from Lab Cosmetica, and I would encourage you, if, you're still, if you still get enjoyment out of trying detailing products, and I do, to go and check out the range, have a read through it. It, it looks like the real deal to me, and... You might find some interesting products there that are different chemically that you can get good results with. So that's the most important thing, trying new stuff and having fun with it as well, guys. So Labco Cosmetica, check it out. We've been looking at Primus and Purifica, and hopefully we can get some more, more of those products in later on. That's it for this one. Don't forget to subscribe. See you soon. Bye for now. Holding on to